One of my favourite cartoons would be Peter Dutton's challenge to Malcolm Turnbull. It's become very versatile. I think there was 11 Duttons hidden. G'day, I'm Matt Golding. I'm cartoonist with The Age and Fairfax. I've been uh, drawing cartoons for close to 30 years and that's a pretty fine job. Did you find Peter? I start the day by filling my brain with as much information as possible. But then you need to stop and step away. So when you have the big picture, from far, far away, you can then distill it down into a small little square. With the pocket cartoon, what is wonderful about that is you're confined by a four centimetre square. Once you know what it is you want to say, then you've got to put that into the square and you take things away. It's what you don't put in there that actually gives the power to this wonderful small little image. One of the ways I go about finding ideas is to um, listen to what the politicians are saying and then with a cartoon you're trying to then put forward what they're not saying. It was a fascinating year to be drawing. We've had a dual citizenship, dueling coalition, which ended with the leadership spill. Barnaby Joyce dueling with himself. If you are sort of stuck for an idea in the morning, you can just tap on the radio and see what Donald Trump has done in the last four hours or so. What's in a cartoon is a surprise, something the reader or the viewer didn't expect. So you're trying to find that thing that doesn't belong. You step back from the noise and the craziness and the pace and you have a little snapshot. The whole day's news cycle, you've got it. The cartoon, hopefully, will gain a greater power. People are drawn to cartoons. They have always loved to gravitate towards them because of their beauty, their simplicity, and their power to challenge, to make people think and possibly see the world in a different way. And once you see an issue in a different way, it's hard to see it the old way.